Here we go again, back with more Pro Cycling Mania Season 2015. Today we're doing the first Italian States race of the week, or the year, if the train rides as they go, from one Mediterranean Sea to another in Italy, from the west coast to the east coast. And yeah, seven states long. I have a choice between three different races here, 2013, 2014 and 2015. I know that in 2016 there's a team time trial at the first stage. So I'm picking between 2013 and 2014 and pretty much a lot of this is the same. A time trial at the end. Only big difference is a hill stage on stage 6 compared to a flat stage. So just to make it a bit more exciting, I think I'll pick this one, 2013 edition, because there's another hill stage compared to only two mountain stages. So we'll pick this one and hopefully we'll get a good result. And now let's get into the team selection. And I've already looked at the start list of the teams and I don't want to pick uh, any of the major favorites. And I, when I say major favorites, I think Nibali, for example, uh, Valverde as well. So I'm looking between TJ Fangaran, Rigoberto Uran, Thibaut Pinot, Esteban Chavez, maybe Joaquim Rodriguez. I don't know how good Joaquim Rodriguez is in this game. Uh, Bauke Molema, maybe. Sky, I don't really rate any of the riders. Kvitkovsky or Valpuls, I don't really think they're going to be good enough. So I don't think I'll pick Sky. Think of as well with Kreuzig. I don't think that's very exciting either, even though they have Sagan in the race, but that could be funny. I could choose Astana as well. I'll go with Fulsang instead of Nibali. But I, it rarely works that you, it rarely happens that the second best rider on the team actually wins. I don't, I actually think this week that Nibali will drive for Fulsang because Fulsang seems to be in better shape. At least he was doing Strade Bianche this past weekend. I'm actually going to, to take a chance and pick Cannondale. Because even though Uran is worse than Van Vanguard on Pinot, it seems like more of a challenge. And there's a team time trial. And I think Candidal usually are pretty good at team time trials. So I'll pick that. And we'll have to pick the team here. First up, Uran. Then it goes by name. Let me see what they have here. We have Jack Bauer. 73 time trial. Uh, Simon Clark. 69, that's okay. Famolo. 69 again. Then next up, Koran, 73 times more, that's pretty good. Langeveld, 73 again. Looking pretty strong so far already. Now Dauskas, oh that's a good rider. 73 again here, he's a great all-around rider. He's been in flat roads. And Villela, 764, he's probably going to fall off the first rider. So in the mountains we have 78, we have Formolo to help. Simon Clark is decent as well, and Villela as well. So we actually have four okay riders in the mountains. Famolo can sit with me for a long time. Uran is not in great shape. So that's a bit of a worry, but I think I'll stick with it. And it'll probably be difficult to beat the big guns, because I know that Froome or Consider somebody will probably start in this race and it ruin my chances completely. But let's just get into the team time trial. I haven't really done many team time trials, so I don't think I've ever won one anyway. But we'll try and get into it and find out if we can even get a top 10 finish. Let's get it started. Okay, we're into the stage now. Movie Star, Lampre, and BMC have just been sent away. Next up is Kai Royale. But let's look at their competitors to see what our chances of actually getting a win overall or maybe even just a podium finish. For Tinker Sachs, we have Kreuziger. For Trek Racing, we have no one really particularly dangerous. BMC, nope. Port, no, Van Gardaan, Katusha doesn't have Joaquin Rodriguez, Lasuzel doesn't really have a third leader, just Giant, Ethics leader, Dimension Data has no one actually, still not really scared, Aru is there, that's a good, that's a big name, for Beru is here, uh, no Nibelia Fulsang though, Mikelen, that's a strong rider for Sky, Kelderman is here, Kelderman is actually pretty good as well, Moreno, Roy Costa is here, of course me, but actually no Froome, no Considor, no Quintana I think, where well, was movie star, no, no Quintana, no Nibali, so Aru is probably the main threat, 81 Mountain, 78 time trial, hopefully we'll get a bit of a lead on him here on this team time trial, but let's just 
check out the times here when the first couple of teams pass the checkpoint. Here goes Astana, hopefully they'll do bad. Okay, Queen X next, when it's my turn. I don't really get the order for for team time so it seems pretty random. Moves that so far by far the quickest at the first checkpoint. BMC, Kyle Real, of course, expected to be one of the worst teams and are one of the worst teams so far. CCC will probably be pretty bad as well. Boa Argon here. Katusha comes up. Francis de Chou. I'm actually probably one of the last teams to start. Ply, okay, let's think of it. I just thought that was my team. The rest of the green color. And here is my team. Canada. We have Langeveld starting out in front. I don't know, why, don't know why I just clicked all the way to the front here. And I'll start him out on 90. Just to ensure that we start out fast. Okay, I think I'm one of the last team. Moves that seem to be stronger so far in goal. They've actually lost to BMC, so they probably started out too fast. And we'll just pick everybody here. Formola seems to be weak today, minus 5. Uh, oh, I don't want to go 10. <laughs> I think 88, 17, 16 kilometers long. I think I'll go down 86, 87. I think we'll put it at 87 over C, where that takes us. I think that's a good... I think it's a good number for the states because you could go faster because you gain, gain a lot of energy by, seeing, by dropping back again like Langeville is doing now. He's had lost a lot more energy right now but he, he'll gain it by sitting behind other riders now and just by simply by dropping back again. you of course go a bit slower. But 10 seconds lead, quick changes all the time here. Behind us we have Trick Factory Racing, actually the last team to be the second last team to pass in front of us, John Appleson. We can always look here. 10. 0.3 and we are 11.7, so we're 1.4 kilometers behind, and they are 1.5 kilometers behind, so we are probably around the same time as the other competitors at the moment. Coren, 87 at the moment. Okay, 10 kilometers to the finish line, first 6 kilometers are gone. I'm expecting Vilela to take a bit shorter of a lead here, 6 seconds. And then I'll just hammer him up 12th place. Quick sprint here from Villela and then uh, I'm hoping that he'll just quickly fall off again. Eighteenth. That's that second up in front here. Still 1.3 kilometers to go. The Barker first one to drop off here. I think that we can put this up to 90 for the last. Maybe 92 just here for the last five kilometers. I think I think our team can handle this. I see I think it's strong enough. I don't care about just five guys need to make it to the finish line. Langeveld, Duran, Coren, Navdaskas, and so on. Vilela can fall off, Amoro will fall off, maybe someone Clark uh, will fall off as well. But it probably isn't the end of the world. 0.7, 2.3. It's annoying that you can't mark them, I have to click them down here. All the time, I know I don't want to go here. Summon Clark, now sprinting a bit here. Last kilometer of racing. Jan Elbson coming into second place here. Six riders remaining. I think we can make this over the finish line and we'll get in 14th place. Uh, I had actually had too much energy on some of the riders here at the end. Langeveld well run. Especially Navadauskas didn't use enough of the power they had, but otherwise I think I timed it pretty well with my fifth rider, Clark and Gren, making it as long as they did. But I ended up losing time to Astana, 14th place, 25 seconds. They lost 11 seconds to them already in the states where I probably should have gained time on them. Trek comes in probably last place, actually, pretty poor performance by them. But BMC takes the win ahead of Movistar, 14th place overall. Not too happy about it, but could be worse. Next up is a flat stage, a couple of them as well, and then we'll move up to the mountain status. See you guys next time. Goodbye.